Canada is home to over 200,000 Iranians with a large Persian community residing in Vancouver. Many of them were out showing their condolences and remembering the victims who lost their lives on the Ukraine flight PS752 that was shot down in 2020. Amelia Frances Fincham shares their stories with us. Thirty-three year old Bahare Karami was passionate about singing, but her voice was silenced when she died in the Ukraine Airlines flight PS752. After they killed Bahare, it was hard for us to live there anymore. We had nothing uh, left there and we, we couldn't live in the country that killed my sister. On January 8th, the anniversary of the crash, the Karami family joined 7,000 people who protested the Iranian regime. It's been three years that we are living in a darkness and sometimes I think that maybe my sister is alive, you know, because they uh, didn't give us a body. The Justice for Flight PS752 march was organized by Arman Abtahi, who believes the media attention is making a difference. We are calling on the governments of third countries and free world to put pressure on Iran to stop um, all the executions and free all, all the political prisoners. Abtahi's brother, Mehran Abtahi, was a UBC graduate. He was also a victim of flight PS752. So I had this burden for a long time. Uh, I was blaming myself that I convinced him to come to Canada. If it wasn't for me, he would have lived. The Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps murdered 176 innocent passengers and an unborn child. The movement plans Ukrainian to march PS752. every Saturday until freedom is restored. And for some of the remaining family members, the fight is all they have left to live for. I'm Amelia Francis Fincham in Vancouver with BCIT Magazine.